Look, I'm sorry about it. Hey, he uh, doesn't think before he acts. Yeah, no kidding. Any chance you can get a leash on him? What the rock star life's not all cracked up to be. Oh, not when you're broke, mate, and you lost the woman that you love. Listen, you ain't any of my problems. I thought your brother's a fool. Yeah, what can you do? Anyway, look, I obviously can't help you with your girl problem, but if you're looking for something to tide you over, I'm in need of a barman. And I know you've had your problems in the past, so working around booze may not sound like a crash hot idea, but anyway, look, you'd be the judge of that if you're interested. Uh, yeah. And what about Heath? No, what about him? It doesn't really create much space between us, does it? I mean, does he know that you're asking me? Well, I don't care if he does, mate. I own the place. Anyway, you think about it, let me know. Yeah, righto. Thanks. And, um, sorry about this. No, you're right, mate. You're right. It's all right. <laughs> hey. Nice. Good photo, too. Take it you guys, um, aren't seeing each other anymore. Huh. Let's go to work. Come on. What's going on there? Two hour basket. Aren't they all, mate? Who am I going to find to fix this bike when you and Charlie go to the city? Someone who knows what they're doing, I reckon. Hey, now uh, my royalty check came through, so I should be able to fix you up for the rest of the money, are you? No, I don't want your money. Look, I know you called a separacy pay, but we both know the reason, the only reason why you gave me money for this bike is because you felt guilty for firing me. And now we're on the topic, I thought that you actually might reconsider. Are you asking me for your job back? Well, now I know the reason why you fired me. Yes, I am. Yeah, fair enough. I haven't sorted out the sale yet, but um, until then, the job's yours. Sounds good to me. Steady on, I'm almost done. Yeah, that's right. I've just got to get to Gabby Creek and get some stuff done. Oh, yeah? Yeah, uh, bike helmet for Bianca. Well, nothing says I love you like a bike helmet. <laughs> well, I just want to let her know how I really feel. After the accident, I, uh, just put everything in perspective for me. I suppose we're in the same boat then, huh? How do you mean? No, big life changes, you know, you and Charlie going to town and... Hey! Beauty! Not you. You can live life online. Hey, 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 hey! Oi, 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 oi! Just walk away. Walk away. Want to tell me what the hell that was all about? Listen, Brax, it's nothing. How much longer is he going to be working here? He's going to be working here as long as I need him. Now, mate, is there something I need to know? It's nothing. You sure? Because I can't have you boys punching on before I even open the place. Brax, trust me, everything's going to be okay. Good. You're never going to get close to my wife. Is that right? Mm, that's right. Nothing is going to change the fact that the baby's mine. And if you try to push me out of my brother's restaurant... Oh, what are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Easy, boys. Right, you? Home. Sweet. Day off. Get upstairs. You calm down yet? Because, mate, I can't have you boys go on the knuckle out the front of the place like that. Yeah, listen, Brax, it won't happen again. So how are you going with everything else? How do you think? Must be rough. Yeah, you could say that. You know, I've actually got a fair idea how it feels. Darcy, Heath's daughter. I was told she was mine. And yeah, for a while there, I was a dad, and it all felt pretty good and I was just getting to know her and I found out the truth. That's bad, eh? But you, mate, you're in a way better position. You're going to be there from the beginning. Yeah, you've got Bianca, the opportunity for kids in the future. Yeah, that's if there is a future. Well, it's up to you, isn't it? Welcome back. Thanks. You uh, spoken to Heath? Yeah, he told me you quit. Yes, sorry about the late notice. Listen, things got a little out of hand since you've been away. I figured. 
Anything I can do to convince you to stay? I'll get rid of that brother of yours. Anything else? Listen, Brax, I know you uh, you took a punt on hiring me in the first place, mate, and I appreciate uh, that. Don't take get me wrong. I'm going to be sorry to lose you. I'm just wondering if it really has to be this way. You don't think I haven't tried? I've got no other option. I've got to leave town. It's a pretty big call, taking a baby away from his father. Yeah, I know that. Not to mention the fact that it's my niece or nephew. It's my family. Rax, as I said, I'm sorry. But I've got no other choice. Come on, mate. There's always a choice. You didn't have a choice, mate. Tonight's going to make up for both of us. Hey, Brax. What are you doing? Ask him. This guy's trying to get out of a Bucks party, and I need your help to convince him to have one. Nah, leave me out of it, boys. Not important. Wait, well, hey, wait. Are you soft? Of course it's important. And just organise it without me, that's all. Can't let Bianca have all the fun, mate. Could just hang out here at the bar. At the bar? I don't drink, Romeo. Don't need to drink. What else do you do? Paintball. That stings. What are you, soft? Look, just organise a couple of blokes for a game of cards here. Actually, I'm partial to a game of poker. Brilliant. Lock it in. Yeah, can we just keep it quiet, you know, a couple yeah, of weeks? Maybe just it? take it somewhere else to discuss it, though. OK, let's go talk about the guest list. I'll come back to help you organise. No, no, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll do it. That's good. Sweet. Ah, oh, day, mate. How are you? Woo. This looks pretty good. Wait, you didn't have to do this. All right, it's your bucks tonight. If we're going to do something, we'll do it right. And on that note, if you're going to take our money, you might as well look the part. <laughs> Hogan's ghost. Ooh, don't look at me. I don't think he was. I right, look, just to uh, spice this night up a bit, let me introduce Hilda and Helga. Now, Hilda's studying psychology law at uni, so just be careful what you say. Hey, thought you left town already. Yeah, I did, but uh, now I'm back. What are you doing? Having a drink. What's the matter with you, mate? Bianca and I were done. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, I don't really care about anything right now, so have a drink. No, 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 don't. Don't do that. Just go home. Go home to what, huh? Are you serious? Don't start. What are you still doing here? I'm trying to get a drink. Can you tell your brother to fix one up, or do I have to go to another pub? Heath, I'll explain it to you later. Just... No, someone can tell me right now. Where's Bianca? Not an eight, probably at home. What the hell's going on? So I'll tell you what's going on. You won. Your kid. Your right to Bennett's life. Congratulations. Well, no, no smug remark. Really? You serious? Now, now's your chance. What, she's finally come to her senses or what? Just, just... That'll do. Perhaps have that drink, huh? Mate, I, I know you're hurting, but I'm telling you, this is not the way... My marriage has just fallen apart. I'm taking you home. No, you're not. All right. All right. We'll just... We'll sit here for a while. Sit down. And if you're OK? I'm fine. It's coffee. Yeah, look, I oh know I might have, um, might have been a bit heavy-handed last night. A bit. Oh, trust me, I know what it feels like to want to wipe yourself out, but, you know, going on a bender, especially for someone like you, that wouldn't have been the end of it, would it? Well, I should be thanking you, should I? No. So what, are you, are you sticking around town for a while? Oh, I've got nowhere else to go. Right, well, I've got an offer for you. What sort of offer? I want you to take over as manager at Angelo's. Brax, I don't need you to save me. I don't need your pity. It's just a job offer. You're the right man for it. You've proven that over and over. Uh, very generous. What about Heath? Don't worry about him. I'll keep him in line. 